Yeah, we're returning and we're adding. We return and when we go in there, we add more. Adam Rockweiler and his daughter are just some of many families spending the day after Christmas at Lakeside Mall. We did a lot of shopping out here. It's, uh, it's been good this year. It's not really been crowded, actually. The parking lot's crowded, but if you make here early enough, it's not bad. It's an easy walk. Lines are a little bad per store, maybe 10 minutes per line. But still, not bad, feasible. In fact, a survey from the National Retail Federation says nearly 50% of shoppers will hit the mall to cash in on after Christmas sales. I think Victoria's Secret had a lot of sales, Macy's, Dillard's. <laughs> Everywhere we went had a sale. It's, it's sale time. Kayla, what do you have? You've got a little bag there. What's it's a have? bath bomb. We're probably over here maybe twice a week. Like, and I'll probably stop. The last few weeks I've been here maybe eight times. Shopping connoisseur Mallory Horridge spent several hours Monday going store to store, finding the best deals to stock up on gifts for next holiday season. We know there are so many sales up in here, so we're just buying as much as we can for some good prices. Okay. And okay. Some, for next year's Christmas shopping as well. While most agree the lines and the crowds are not nearly as bad as they were the days leading up to Christmas. All kinds of stuff. We got Mr. Some say they've spent more than enough time shopping over the last few weeks. How long have you guys been at the mall for? Like an hour. About, yeah. How, how do you feel right now? Pretty bored. <laughs> The National Retail Federation expects retail sales to go up 3.6% this year. That amounts to roughly $655 billion. 